Jamie Black, your bathtub philosopher. I heard something the other day. I'm not quite sure I understand exactly what I heard. Did I understand that Sean Penn was instrumental in capturing, capturing? In capturing El Chapo. Is that what I understand? That Sean Penn was instrumental in his capture. He'd been on the run. All the authorities, they can't, they can't ever find him. But Sean Penn can? I mean, I don't... What is happening? I, I don't, I'm not understanding this. And here's the thing. You know, if somebody had come to me and said, what Hollywood celebrity do you think caught El Chapo? And I would have said Chuck Norris, right? That's who I would have thought of. If you would ask me who, what Hollywood celebrity did I think, you know, helped catch El Chapo, I would have said, well, Chuck Norris and his beard. I can't even, I mean, you know, the man, that beard, I mean, I don't even know what to say. So, can Sean Penn find Jimmy Hoffa? I mean, who else can, who else is lost that Sean Penn needs to find? Oh, who's that, uh, uh, um, <sighs> damn it. Oh, was Amelia Earhart? But isn't she lost? Who else? I mean, the lost people, let's put Sean Penn on the case. I, I mean, this was, is the most notorious drug lord in the world. And he been on the run for a long time. But Sean Penn gets an interview with him and they want to just go, go what? I swear, I might be asleep. Maybe I'm dreaming this. Maybe it's one of them weird dreams, you know, where you, you, you know, you random people show up in the dream doing some crazy things. But maybe this Sean Penn El Chapo thing is a dream where I mixed up some, some, some stuff. You know, maybe I was listening to the television when I, before I went to bed. We should put Sean Penn on missing children cases. Why didn't he tell us he had this ability to catch fugitives, people who've been on the run for a long time that nobody else can find. I'm surprised he didn't find Osama. Maybe he did. Maybe he wasn't ready to come out yet and tell people that he, yeah, yeah, you know, I found Osama. Whatever. I did an interview with him. We're going to make a documentary. 911. I didn't do it. That's not a, that's not an Osama accent. I don't know what Osama because I had nothing to do with it. I wasn't there. I didn't do it. I didn't do nothing. Oh, you know, and, and mo you know, most of the time I don't like to talk about multiple things when I do bathtub philosophers. I like to keep it to one subject. That way I can keep it short and sweet. But there's too much stuff going on nowadays, and this whole thing has really gotten to me. Here's the other thing. <laughs> Weight Watchers is about to blow up. I just realized that Oprah was doing commercials for... Weight Watchers. Now, I thought she was just doing commercials. I wasn't really paying attention. Because, you know, I, not that I don't pay attention to Oprah. I listen to Oprah. Don't get me wrong. Don't, don't go there. I listen to Oprah. But here's the thing. I thought that she was just, you know, reaching out to people and going, you know, this is what I'm doing. You know, I, I'm struggling with my weight. I'm going to lose weight again. You know how Oprah is? She's so honest. She gets out there and she tells people stuff. And that's what I thought she was doing. I thought she was just telling us. Stuff. I thought she had actually taken out ad space. So she could tell us about how she was going to have her best body in 2016. That, this is what I thought. And then I heard, I actually listened to the entire thing. And it was a Weight Watchers commercial. I said, oh, Weight Watchers about to blow up. You, I mean, everybody's going to be doing Weight Watchers. Now, skinny people are going to be doing Weight Watchers. Because Oprah's on there endorsing Weight Watchers. Weight Watchers is about to blow up. You know, this is what I think. I think, because, you know, Oprah says she... She never thought about doing, or maybe she had thought about doing Weight Watchers. She's like, nah, that's not for me, you know, and everything. And then I think she saw Jennifer Hudson and how fine she looked. I mean, Jennifer Hudson looked fine. And she did the Weight Watchers thing. And now, Jennifer Hudson's face is all over Chicago, well, on the south side, and, and, and Weight Watchers. So maybe that was always like, oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm Miss Chicago. I'm Miss Black Lady Chicago. I miss rich black lady Chicago. I can't have your face all up. If they thought things were good with Jennifer Hudson, 
They're about to blow up with Oprah. They are about to blow up with Oprah. And last but not least, I just want to say that we are going to miss David Bowie and his music, his legendary music. We have lost a really innovative, wonderful, phenomenal performer. I'm Jimmy Black, your bathtub philosopher. Oh, I'm stuck to the tub!